Hi, and welcome back to the Rubber Room for Watch It Wednesday. My name is Chris Colley, and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today I'm going to share with you how to make this little candy holder. Inside this candy holder, there are some Dove chocolate treats. And this is a little box that holds four... This one is milk chocolate. They do have a dark chocolate also. And this is the brand new glimmer paper here in the red. And I've used my little embosslet to punch the little heart out and put some dots in it. And then we also have um, one of the itty bitty buttons which are on special with the filled with love bundle this month and a little rhinestone heart on it. And we're going to get started with the pattern for this and I will put the pattern measurements as well as the measurements for the paper on my blog after this post with a list of the supplies that I've used but you're simply going to start off with a piece of cardstock that is six and a quarter by two and five eighths and this is going to be the candy holder or the wrap around the box and you're going to score this at two and a seven two and seven eighths inch is in from both sides. So what I did was score here and then flip my paper this way and score here at two and a seven eighths inches in. I actually took a piece of basic black cardstock and it is cut again to those measurements which are two and five eighths by six and a quarter and I'm going to start off by folding on my score lines. And I'm just going to take my bone folder and give it a good crease there and along my other score line. Let's make sure it's on there straight so that I have two good creases in it. And then I'm going to set that aside and I do have a piece of glimmer paper that has been trimmed to just like a little scrap piece of paper here. And I'm going to take my heart to heart punch and I'm just going to line it up with the smallest of those three punches and give it a punch. I'm going to do that so that I don't waste any of this glimmer paper. It's absolutely beautiful paper and so I wouldn't want to waste even the tiniest amount of it. So I'm just going to punch a little heart out of there and then I also am going to take one of the itty bitty buttons and these are the buttons that are in the filled with a love bundle promotion that's going on right now and if you order the love patterns designer series paper and the filled with a love stamp set you'll actually get a box of these buttons for free there are 64 buttons in the box there are 16 of four different shapes there's this heart a circle a scallop and a flower and what I'm going to do is put a little mini glue dot on the back of my heart button I'm gonna put it right in the middle there and then I'm going to take my button and put my glimmer paper on behind it right in the center and I'm going to add a little rhinestone jewel brad to that I actually I'm going to take my paper snips to to get it off there and lined up and your jewels do come in three different sizes and I'm going to take the smallest one I'm just going to take it off my little sheet there is some sticky on the back of it so I've just got it right on the edge or the tip of my scissors and I'm going to add that right to the middle of my itty bitty button and press it down so there I have the little accent piece that's going to go on my little scalloped heart. And to make the heart, I used my embosslet, the scalloped heart-to-heart -heart embosslet. And what I did was cut a piece of Whisper White cardstock, two and a quarter inches by two inches. I just opened up my little embosslet and put my Whisper White cardstock right into the middle of it there. 
and then closed it up. And when you're using this, before you put it into your Big Shot, there are some words here that actually say, place this side down. You truly do want to place that side down. So when you get this onto your Big Shot, if you can see those words, you wanna turn it this way. So it's gonna go in your Big Shot like this, and these hinges on this end of it are always gonna go on the side with the handle to your Big Shot. And what this is going to do, it's not only going to cut the heart shape out, but it's also going to give us the, the little dotted impression that you see there. So after you run it through your Big Shot, you're going to get a scalloped heart with the dots on it, just like this.